Okay, it's Sunday afternoon. I'm about to get ready for a week, and I thought I'd show you what that looks like in my house. Um, I kind of already started a little bit on Friday as I was cleaning up, um, kind of got some things ready, but let me show you what I have so far. The first thing I did was print new checklists for my girls. Um, they were blank. I write the date at the top, and I cross out or X out any adjustments I wanna make for the week. Um, and then I went ahead and wrote the history books that I want to read for the week. Um, we're going to read two. Um, this one we have to split because it's pretty long. And then I wrote down what my girls picked to study for science. And I wrote down what they're currently reading. And then I did the same thing on my seven-year-old. Um, she listens to audiobooks. This is what she's listening to. And I wrote the same history and science for here. here. The next thing I'm going to do is get ready for language arts with my oldest daughter, we do everything based off of the novel that we're reading together, which requires me to choose a copy work. So I'm gonna spend just a couple of minutes looking through some of the chapters that we're gonna be reading this week and see if I can find a copy work that stands up to me. So that's what I'm gonna do now and I'll let you know what I pick. Okay, I found what I like. The book's about to get good. <laughs> um, there were so many things that I wanted to pick, but I didn't wanna give away too many details. So I ended up picking one that's really gonna tell us something about the main character of the story. Um, she's about to kind of really take action in what's happening. So that's why I picked it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply type it up on a Word document and print it out so I can cut it out. And I'll show you how that turns out in a second. I'm back before I print it out because I changed my mind. After typing it out, I decided I didn't like the passage. Um, I could have just deleted that previous video and started afresh. But you know what? Sometimes when we make our own things, we just kind of have to like learn as we go. As I was typing this out, I realized that a lot of these sentences, it's kind of like Arthur's, author's license. Um, he really just kind of took liberty to however he wanted. There's a comma. I, I think there should be a comma somewhere. He started a sentence with Anne. And um, I don't really think that's fair to her when she's trying to do her dictation. So I found another one. It's going to follow the same guidelines. It's going to tell us um, how she's going to get ready um, to take action. Um, and I think it's going to help us practice something that we've discussed before in grammar. So retyping and I'll print that. Okay, here's what I printed. I already cut it out and I'm already starting to look at some of the vocabulary words that we're gonna look at and possibly some spelling words. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it just easy with a glue stick and I have these sheets in my binder that I keep um, and I'm gonna glue this right under here because I feel like her writing is better and she gets better practice when she writes on lines. So I'm gonna glue that in and then I'll do my next thing. Okay, so language arts for my oldest is pretty much done. That's really what takes the most time. It's just finding that passage and printing it out. And I think that was maybe 10 minutes, could be less. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is just go through her checklist and I'm gonna look through um, math. That's really her only textbook because um, everything else is just the next page. Um, and I'm gonna write down what lesson she's on and any other instructions. And then her list will be done for tomorrow. I'm gonna make a confession here right now. We're trying on a new Mac currently. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I am the pickiest homeschool math mom there is. Um, it's a story for another day, but that's what we'll be doing this week. So I'm gonna write on, I gotta find what page we're on and I'll put that on here. Okay, so a little bit more about that. Um, what you don't know is that we've actually already tried some other maths this year, trying to figure it out. And I actually feel really comfortable doing that. Um, I just look at the lesson from our this original map and what she needs to know and I just find it in another map book and that I save money by buying it used. So I buy a used book where somebody's already written in half of it or something and then um, I find the lesson. It's it's a bad, it's not, I would not recommend doing it all the time but you know her and I we use the same math when she, kinder through third, and it was a good fit. And I just feel like we cannot find the right fit since then. I'm on a mission. I'm gonna do it. Okay, she's done. I put in her math pages, and then now I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna put my seven-year-old's math pages and what we're gonna do for phonics, and then that'll be it. Okay, that's it. I'm ready for the week. Well, I'm ready for tomorrow. I only plan one day at a time. Um, I have like monthly goals, so I kind of know where I'm going. But as far as day to day, I just do it one day at a time, just because I never know what's going to come up. Are we going to need to look at it again? Um, what do we need to do? So 
Um, it took me long because I sat here and made videos with you, but in a normal day, it probably takes me 10 to 15 minutes. All right, hope you have a great week.